Hello and welcome back to yet another episode of Social Gram Sambad Session. Uh, like every time, we have another wonderful guest this time, and her name is Rachna. And Rachna runs a community called Jaipur Creative Commune, and uh, she has so much experience uh, in this particular community sector. Feel uh, really grateful that uh, I've got this chance to talk to her. And well, uh, let's hear it from Rachna herself. So hi Rashna, how are you? I'm good, Sarthak. How are you doing? I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. So uh, tell our viewers a little about yourself. We, I have personally heard about uh, Jaipur Creative Commune a lot, but uh, people who have been uh, who, who are new to this uh, space, uh, what would you like to tell them about? Okay, so Jaipur Creative Commune is a community uh, of creators and art enthusiasts, and uh, I just initiated because of my personal uh, need for networking with creators. There was no other motive, and still there is no other motive other than to you know connect with people. Right. So I wanted to interact more uh, with the creative uh, you know creators within Jaipur. So uh, earlier I was doing a lot of meetups with entrepreneurs. Uh, and I thought that you know my circle is filled with entrepreneurs only, but I wanted to have an interaction with the creators because uh, Jaipur is itself a, a city of you know a lot of handmade things, and right. I I was thinking that I don't know the you know the people who are doing this kind of creative work, and I enjoy you know uh, just watching the creators doing something, and you know I enjoy that flow of uh, you know the kind of. That the kind of lostness that they have in that work, you know, the kind of yes. flow that they can enjoy in that work. So, I wanted to just meet, interact, and you know, stay connected with them. And uh, uh, so, it was more of a very informal initiative wherein, uh, you know, I just posted on Facebook that you know I'm looking for meeting some creators in Jaipur and art enthusiast people who just want to have an interest or inclination about art, and you know, just want to meet every weekend for doing some activity, uh, you know. Together, you know, okay. if you know something that uh, you know you want to share, then you know you can just meet and just learn from each other. So that was only motive, and still stays st stays the same. That sharing remains the major motive of the group. And then, how do we empower each other? You know, how do we support, create a support ecosystem wherein you know a person who is want to delve or want to start something in the creative field can start it without uh, you know without having that judgment fear or without having that fear you know who will help me out so i think it is more of a uh, like uh, having that community wherein i can openly share i can openly uh, you know ask about my problems difficulties and learn from each other and empower each other uh, you know in that way wow so uh, jaipur creative commune actually started with a personal need which kind of expanded yeah. into a universe now and uh, and it's slowly gra growing in that direction i would say and uh, yeah. well i i feel uh, you have used a lot of uh, compassion to build this community and uh, uh, so so where does that need came from like uh, uh, was it something like uh, i think for that we need to know a little background about you so tell us about something about yourself like where are you from and about your education or why why in jaipur only yeah okay so i'm born and brought up in jaipur and i did my studies from jaipur i i completed my uh, bachelor's in science uh, from harani's college in jaipur and then i uh, you know during that time of uh, you know when i was uh, doing my bachelor's i was also working part time with an internet marketer and that was my first experience to the corporate uh, you know not the, even the corporate but just an experience of doing a job and you know what it what it all needs and all those things and then then i i uh, i did my mba uh, from ibs equipment school hyderabad mm -hmm. so uh, i i did mba i went there for two years and then studied there and somehow the destiny i would say uh, brought me back to jaipur so uh, I think it was destined only that uh, you know even after doing MBA uh, from Hyderabad and then you know maybe I I could have moved to some uh, metro city there only, but uh, I I kind of moved here and then I started working with uh, an internet marketing uh, not internet marketing but a web hosting company in Jaipur name is Zetna Technology so I worked there for three years. as a brand and marketing manager and then you know at the end of second year i felt like that i want to do something of my own but i had no idea 
idea what to do where to start with and uh, i you know at the end of third year i just left my job because uh, i was just familiar about this this one thing that i don't want to pursue my job mm-hmm. i had no I- idea what can i do next but uh, exactly. the one thing was very clear that i don't want to do a job and uh, i left the job and i started figuring out what can i do and uh, that's how you know i started with i i started uh, you know uh, figuring out and then uh, uh, i was th- i was just looking for you know communities uh, who are supporting entrepreneurs or just you know having some kind of support system for uh, for an entry level uh, person who want to do something uh, you know on their own so uh, I, i i went to few of the meetups and i i felt that you know it was one too many like you know one person was speaking and a lot of people were just listening out and i didn't find that kind of interaction there i felt that you know it is more of an exchange of visiting cars and um, there was no kind of personal connection set in or even the you know the kind of networking that i was looking for or even the support that i was looking for you know i was a bit lost at that time so uh, and just for the search of you know finding more collaborative communities uh, specifically for entrepreneurs i founded uh, you know an organization named as entrepreneur cafe so they used to do uh, you know informal meetups all over the world with entrepreneurs okay. every thursday second and th- fourth thursdays and i just uh, you know asked them that uh, i wanted to join the jaipur meetups uh, you know meetups happening in jaipur and they said uh, we don't have an active volunteer in jaipur would you like to uh, volunteer for it Mm-hmm. and i said oh, i don't know whether i can do it for him because at that time i was i was quite into what person and you know i i, I used to speak very less and uh, yeah, yeah. i was not sure whether i could lead uh, if something like this and i also was confused because i was figuring out a lot of many things at my end uh, you know for this so uh, i said okay let's uh, give things a try and see how it goes and there from there i think i i i kind of uh, you know connected with a lot of many people and it was more of a setup where in there was it was very informal like you know we mm. used to choose one topic and then we discuss within ourselves you know about our experiences and there was a mix of people like you know some entry level on the pen or some people who have already been in the startup industry for a while some experienced people and mm. uh, that interaction was just you know coffee conversations conversation over coffee and then you know it, it was it 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 created a lot of uh, you know confidence uh, it it actually gave me a lot of confidence and also made me feel that the importance of you know some kind of informal in uh, in the con- in the kind of you know meetups that we do that it takes a while for a person to open up and he or she can only open up if he if he feel connected with that community if he feel that you know they are the people or this community offers me something that i can openly talk about and it is a most majorly a support system they are not uh, judging me for anything out <laughs> and uh, uh, i think that's where I, i kind of started loving community and during this whole experience where i was figuring out Uh, you know a uh, uh, entrepreneur a uh, uh, enterprise that i can start mm. and uh, you know i was doing these community meetups so during this whole setup i also worked with three more people to start up uh, and uh, you know a venture named as entrepreneur where we used to curate trips for entrepreneurs and it came from that need where you know uh, we wanted to have some setup where the entrepreneurs come and uh, you know just not interact but also kind of you know uh, talk about their problems brainstorm together and uh, also work on collaborating with each other so Correct. we uh, we 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 invited applications for this and we got first application uh, you know first when we applied when we did this we got around 450 plus application and we wow. selected 15 entrepreneurs from them and then we we took them to a very off peak location where there was just one lodge uh, you know and no nothing uh, you can do you can't do anything other than you know talking to people and we created that system and uh, you know a lot of activities around how 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 to brainstorm and how to collaborate with another and it also related uh, it also resulted and it was just a weekend uh, kind of trip and it also resulted in you know uh, almost three or four partnership within the uh, people who came for it and uh, there was more than exchanging of visiting card people became friends all exactly. the random strangers who came to it and it was a very nice feeling so i think it was again the community step uh, you know building thing that 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 was very evident in this uh, venture of uh, you know ours where we were focusing on how do we how do we come together and share and connect and i think that is the core of any community uh, you know initiative and uh, then uh, you know with the professional things i was going on i, I was more 
more into animated video production and uh, then i now i have fore into the e learning so that is my professional front and i think i i never discuss more about it because i mostly deal with the international clients and that's where i work it okay. so uh, and i think i i, I want to keep these uh, two things as separate uh, what i do professionally what i do for my bread and butter and what i do just for my passion so uh, the another passion project that came in with two Uh, uh, three more people is like Project Shunne. So Shunne is a festival uh, that is uh, you know where we we thought of uh, you know celebrating nothingness. So if you think about it, it's a very uh, you know concept wherein uh, people would think what actually you would do if you are talking about nothingness would be go to the festival wherein then nothing would be happening. And it was very naive concept to be all you know uh, you know to actually uh, be shared with people to make people yeah. understand what actually. it means and even to invite people for the first uh, such initiative uh, but uh, we we did two editions 2018 2019 we couldn't do it 2020 and we are just you know hoping that we will be doing it 2021 in october sometime oh. uh, so that was again a community initiative wherein you know uh, the concept was how to find yourself and how to better connect with other people also you know so the concept of how to how to find your flow in life like you know what exactly you want to do mm. and uh, you know we do a lot of activities around that Okay. So that is again again a community initiative, and somewhere between these things, and uh, I always have inkling for uh, you know knowing creators, meeting them, and uh, I think somewhere in two thousand nineteen February two thousand nineteen, I I just uh, did uh, you know just posted on Facebook, and uh, you know, and we met and we met for the first time on some Saturdays, uh, maybe I think twenty six Feb, I just as I remember. So we uh, there was only seven eight people, and it was most of friends of friends of friends. So. That Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's how we start. Exactly. So uh, that's how we start, and that's how you know it grows. So then uh, you know people say we are liking it. Maybe if we, if we can do more of it, then and, and then we did few more meetups, and you know a lot of other people start joining in, and then it was like uh, you know in in I think in a span of one uh, span or uh, one year or less than that, we had more than two fifty people, and we had just WhatsApp group at that time, and somehow it was like we can't handle uh, more on the WhatsApp group. So then, how we we you know further migrated to a Facebook group. Now it's a closed Facebook group, and uh, uh, so the the kind of thing that even the community can offer is like hmm. uh, I also have this uh, uh, thought behind uh, JCC. It actually kind of evolved with the uh, you know with the with the the, the kind of. you know maybe the conversation with the, with the artist or conversation with people who want to be in the art field and what challenges they face and then uh, you know we figure out that the objective of this community is obviously to connect and share and uh, you know empower each other with the other community of uh, the other objectives that we share is like how do we provide also the livelihood opportunities for a creator exactly. and how do we support a person who is looking for venturing in or maybe just doing something in the art field but you know he or she doesn't find a related resource to do it maybe you know i just want to do art as an hobbyist or mm-hmm. I, i just want to do it for my own relaxation so how do we serve these two audiences where in one side we have creators who want to earn from their uh, you know art and who are looking for avenues for that and second uh, people who want to just learn the art and enjoy the art so how do we serve these two both what audience so i think this is still a kind of challenge for us as a community and within all this how do we keep the community as a self sustainable community because if the longer run uh, i as a community leader could you know would have to support that in monetary terms may I, it may happen that i may lose that interest if i just have to pay pay from my own pocket exactly. and also as a community how do we how do we bring that ownership within everyone in the community and not just the person who has started it because the community belongs to everyone as so um, previous year only we started uh, you know we made this organization as a section 8 company and uh, uh, you know we are registered as a section 8 company now and now we are figuring out you know on the other things that we have thought about how to provide the uh, the kind of uh, you know livelihood opportunities or opportunities to earn from their art to creators who have associated with jaipur creative commune how to make them you know just uh, empower them not help them but i would say empower them in 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 making uh, themselves you know more marketable 
in the yeah. terms of what they are creating uh, and also upskilling themselves as a creator like you know what could be something that they need to do at their end because uh, even if you want a community we want to support them but eventually they have to do things at their own end so what how do we create that uh, you know learning opportunities for them wherein they can learn uh, you know enough for that so mm-hmm. yeah that is i think the whole brief of it <laughs> yes. that go that goes for a, i think a long <laughs> longer duration yeah. than explain it kind of answered a lot of questions that i had uh, but again i'll ask you those questions so that uh, people can get a little more detail about those things so uh, i attended your uh, sat this saturday is uh, uh, meet up and uh, meet up. Yeah. yeah and uh, it was wonderful uh, to talk to pulkit and hariti and uh, right uh, hariti was her name right hariti hiteshi hiteshi yes yes pulkit and hiteshi well yeah. pulkit and hiteshi and uh, the one, one very interesting thing that i liked was like after the meet up you can actually interact with them on tables and, and everything that was really yeah. interesting um, so that was my like input on that and uh, Okay, so uh, you talked about the financial challenges in a community space, and for the creators also, and for also the community also. And I have also faced like whenever I talk to, talk about this idea of uh, community to anyone, and they ask like, "Yeah, so how do you plan to earn from this?" Uh, that is always a challenge. So how do you feel you have been uh, coping up with this thing? That you know, explaining people, okay, uh, I do something else for my bread and butter, but. you know there is uh, this is something for that i do for my soul so yeah uh, tell us something about that yeah. i think uh, i think uh, you know uh, it it needs to be communicated again and again and not in a very direct format but how do you do things for it and i think it it becomes very evident if you are spending your time in it you know if mm. if if like if you if you're doing it with your full heart and you know uh, you're not asking anything in return so i think uh, i think it 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 happens over a period of time not in the first instance or just telling people that you know this is this is my passion project i am not earning out of it mm. it it doesn't actually sound good and it also not communicated well when you are when you are just talking in very you know you know very very clear terms that it it happens with your actions i believe and it happens mm. uh, with regular uh, so one thing i i have also observed in the community initiative is it's it's one thing to to start a community but it's another thing to actually run a community because uh, it is not something that you are doing for your bread and butter it, there is no push in this you know there is no one there's no money involved in it yeah. there is you know sometimes you sometimes you feel why do i do that why why is there need of it right mm-hmm. so it it need to be come uh, it need to be come from you know within yourself like you know this is what i want to do and i'm okay with not earning it i want to i have some you know i have a motive to support and empower people and not to earn out of this initiative and i think this 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 distinction helped me out that you know this these are my passion project this is something that i want to do because i enjoy doing it and this is something that i have to do because i have to earn a certain amount and i have to maybe pay my bills or you know just grow as a person in the that professional field exactly. so having that distinction clear is one thing the other thing is how do you communicate that distinction to your community without um, you know without saying it in brute crude terms and you know just conveying it with your actions like you know how is your committed to doing it uh, you know if we, if i just talk about running the community it is like maybe you you know a community member just can just call you and ask you for support Mm-hmm. would you be able to give your time to it mm-hmm. uh, and then other other thing could be you know uh, 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 like you may need to organize community meetups can you do that for you know you may need to work on the you know legal part of it so you know uh, registering a, 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 an organization maybe in a, a trust would be a time involving process would have you know a lot of other things to take care can you take care of it and it comes at a very later stage but then you know how do you how do you see that organization it is just mm-hmm. a one of initiative wherein you just want to work it for some time or do you seeing it in longer run wherein uh, you know the, the the major motive was to connect and is to connect and share but also provide uh, you know the, the kind of support uh, in the terms of money that is uh, that a community member is looking so hmm just your video just please
how do you see that organization level ha uh, hi yeah yeah i think your video froze actually for a while yeah now i can hear okay. you you were so asking i think the, yeah no i was just wondering that if it paused or what yeah 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 so, okay so you're just saying that it is like you know how how do you how do you communicate with your uh, not uh, uh um, tangible action but intangible that's you know something that is not visible in the terms of but uh, you do activities you do lot of things for them that help them in understanding that this community is there for my support and and you know, not looking for anything in return also in the yeah. longer run you have to work on the sustainability of the community because uh as i said that you know if you put everything from your pocket the mm-hmm. first of all it is not a community it is just you know you doing something and there is no there is no concept of community coming in that the other thing is that you may lose your interest if you have to pay from your pockets from uh, you know for a longer time because exactly uh, then 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 the money expect come to your mind then you feel like oh do i have this money to invest in this initiative or do even i want to spend it so you can always do a part of it from your side but you also need to uh, understand that a part of it needs to come from the community so mm-hmm. that you know you you remain the self sustainable one in the longer run hmm. uh let's now when i look at your campaigns and uh, like when i look at your uh, different events and different uh, uh, post on instagram also for that matter uh, i f- i feel there's a lot of planning behind that uh, which i feel is missing from most of the communities that i have visited and uh, they're kind of uh, like in between of an ngo and uh, and a community whereas i feel jcc is doing something a step ahead was it the mba behind that that is helping you in that uh i think it it actually you know a lot of things we do very spontaneously uh, yeah. and uh, a lot of thing also comes from experience i believe like you know uh, when when I think I I have been working on my own from almost uh, I quit my job somewhere around October 2018 so it's almost 7 years that I'm working on my own so I think I have built that kind of discipline in me that even if I'm working on my own I have to be in my office a certain uh, for certain number of hours and 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 that discipline also employ uh, you know get deployed to other initiatives that i am part of that mm-hmm. you know we have to do this thing at this time and as i said that you know community there is one thing of starting a community the other aspect is how do you run it Perfect. because yeah. running involve interaction engagement communication and uh, a lot of consistency in your effort so if i don't do community meet up once a month you know or maybe you know but we were doing offline earlier obviously and then things change or uh, we are doing now it online so if i don't do it then uh, you know people will so- slowly lose interest in it because they are don't see any kind of connections forming up and even if five people are turning to that community meetup it's okay yeah but there should be some continuity in it there should be some consistency in it the people should know that you know a monthly meetup will happen right join it or not it's my choice but it will happen and then you know uh, and we will i i firstly we were doing community meetups but then i i tried adding some information or something that they can took take back uh, you know with this community meetup so i think how do you make it uh, uh more interesting for them is one aspect of it and a lot of help comes from volunteers mm-hmm. and these volunteers are also the people who 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 think uh, you know here who are just here but because they they support this initiative they support this cause and they they kind of love doing uh, you know being among uh, these kind of people mm-hmm. so uh, a lot of you know what you see on uh, jaipur creative commune is managed by volunteers and uh, they are the people who help me out with various things and uh, i i i also feel that sometimes uh, with all my professional uh, you know engagement i sometimes kind of uh, kind of you know uh, couldn't concentrate uh, you know can't can't concentrate on uh, the community aspect but at mm-hmm. these times the volunteers take the lead and then lead uh, you know see the things out overlook you know what we are doing and then over i think it didn't happen uh, just at the start of the community it actually build up uh, over a period of time and we are almost now 
two years old and mm. uh, it 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 built up it, it evolved from everything out we thought of you know and it's more of testing and trying and i also say to volunteers that is there anything that you want to test it out this is a platform wherein you can do it because uh, it is it is it is your platform wherein you can test a campaign idea maybe you can you know just you have a thought in mind and you think that whether it will work or not and i think the whole efforts will be of more of testing and trying things what works what do and we are yeah. learning uh, every single day of uh, you know while implementing these things so it's more of a kind of evolving phase for us and uh, mm-hmm. i don't uh, say that you know this is this is it uh but i think we are evolving we are figuring out other opportunities uh, uh we uh, we in the terms of volunteers are giving their own uh, effort to it and uh, we are just building up on them very true um listen up what do you feel about uh, when when we talk about can you hear me yeah yeah i can hear you okay so uh, when we like talk about culture i think uh, culture is something which uh, i i feel when i uh, kind of interact with you or uh, when i see your posts or anything i see i see there's a certain culture around jcc now so was it an organic approach towards that culture or was it like uh, like you had to put some effort to build up that culture because i feel either ways you have to have a culture yeah so i think uh, is uh, uh... because you know every if you if we see every human it is a basic need that we want to promote our things out we want to you know sell our things out because we want to earn out of it correct so you know as a community initiative if we kept the core a concept as sharing so if you are com- coming to the community you are coming here with the heart of sharing with the heart of you know that you want to connect with other people so that should be your first motive if you are coming to this community just to promote and sell your product then uh, we we are not a right community for you because we don't encourage doing that it is like you know how do we uh, because if you come to a meet up and you just uh, you know and i i have seen collaborations happening out of it if you come to a meet up and you say that you know i'm a photographer and i'm doing this this stuff and there are there are you know you make Ten new connections out of it, and the, of all of those ten connection, one person would always reach you out and say, "I need a photographer. Can you do this stuff for me?" So I think that is where uh, you know uh, the 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 kind of uh, uh, things should come in the terms of monetary aspect or in the terms Very of well. selling your services. Or you come to meet up and then you talk about this is what I do. Hmm. But uh, if you're just joining it and uh, you know saying that you know, hey, I'm selling this. Can you buy this? So obviously, I don't connect with you first of all. So hmm. how do I trust you? okay mm-hmm. and then uh, you 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 didn't uh, you know create a story with me in order to just you know me me becoming a part of you, what you are offering so it's very important that even if you start a community but you make it very sure in the terms of your communication and your terms of your so in the form itself uh, that is uh, wherein we are we are inviting people to join it we should we, we we tell them that it is it is a platform to connect with people not to sell we don't even in the facebook group uh, that we have close facebook group we don't allow any prom- posting that uh, you know that is wherein people are we are promoting their certain stuff or selling they can always share what they are making or they can always share their challenge they are facing but they won't they are not allowed to promote or sell their products for that we do different things out maybe we mm. we we collaborate with them in a certain way maybe they we can do a workshop with them maybe we we you know we do an event wherein they can just promote or sell their product but as a platform it is uh, it is a strict no that we we are uh, not allowing any kind of promotion within the company so that is a uh, one thing that we want to clearly communicate that uh, you are here to connect people with with people first everything comes later if you can set up that connection then everyone would like to mo- know more about you know what you are doing can you uh, you know maybe and and i have seen a lot of people buying other people creations because the, they can they can set that connection in the first instance so yeah i think culture is like being strict with so with some things that you know this is a strict no we can't allow this as a community and uh, you communicate this with the, the group guidelines because mm. i also felt that you know when 
when it was a smaller community when we started just with you know seven eight people then it was very easy to communicate all these things but when it grow grew to a more larger set of people and you know i was not familiar with everyone joining the group it becomes very important to set the group guidelines because otherwise you know everyone say that you know you allowed this to this person you are not allowing this so how do i how do we as a community also communicate the feeling of equality uh, that you know this is applicable for everyone whether you know someone is uh, join someone who has joined the community and is a part from last two years or someone who has just joined it so uh, the first thing that uh, you know is to guide uh, you know communicate the group guidelines and uh, tell them that this is what it is uh, you know mm. it, it this is what this is not allowed or you know uh, and as a member you also have the responsibility to ensure that other people don't do it so it is not just me who will govern this out but you as a uh, you know active member also have this responsibility and that's how you contribute to the community even if you are joining just as an art enthusiast this is how you can moderate the com- community uh, you know communication and then you become an active member of uh, managing this uh, community rashna i am uh, moving towards my last question over here uh, which is basically you know usually companies and organization have usually uh, set goals for their future and community where is like something i mean they can either have goals also or they can grow organically also like uh, they want to grow in certain direction uh, what approach do you take so b- because this is more of a uh, you know a, a community based initiative and I, i i wish to be you know someone who is joining the community joins in with uh, a lot of uh, you know a true feeling for sure so mm-hmm. uh, we have kept it organic as of now we we just uh, maybe we, if we see a creator who who who, think, who we think that could be a part of an it we just invite them but there is no paid promotion or anything like that we have done for the community as of now mm-hmm. it is more of word of mouth publicity people tell people and then that's how they join the community or maybe you know they see it things uh, you know on instagram facebook and then they join us but uh, we haven't done any kind of in- inorganic activity as of now it is you know we have received almost uh, you know 650 plus applications still now mm-hmm. uh, and uh, but it is all organic and that's how i want to do it in the longer run also that Uh, you know people should feel like joining it it should not be pushed even with any advertising but yeah, yeah. Uh, you should have feeling to join it right that i want to become a part of it and uh, mm-hmm. i want to contribute in everyone's growth and also see how can i grow with uh, you know this joining this community so yeah mm-hmm. definitely uh will on that note i would like to thank you for uh, giving me your time and uh, uh, thanks for talking to us and uh, also i would like to tell you there's a new sister community coming up uh, in your neighborhood that's uh, social gram and uh, we time when while talking to you i i realized that we aligned on a lot of uh, ideologies and thinking and uh, the the best part of this uh, community setup is that as in in to- totality i'm talking about the communities uh, they don't have a competition rather it's a more of a collaboration and uh, that kind of feeling around it so i also feel that you know uh, i have got to learn a lot lot many things from you and uh, i would like to implement on our community and would like to collaborate and create something beautiful in future and uh, uh, yeah thank you uh, would you like to add anything from your side that we have missed during our interview uh, thank you for uh, you know taking time to interview me or even just to know about jaipur creative commune i think we need to reach uh, to a larger audience to just you know who feel, who feel like becoming a part of it and a uh, great initiative on initiating social gram i hope uh, you know we all all wanted to have some kind of space where we can just connect you know collaborate more uh, efficiently and have a kind of you know physical space to do that and i always had that kind of thing in my mind that you know i want to have some space wherein i can just put on books you know some art yes. material and just you know uh, sit in a very informal setting and uh, exactly. just collaborate so uh, that's a very good initiative thank you and um, i hope to look forward to for any collaborative things that we can uh, you know uh, do to the, together and yes. uh, i also want to see uh, you know how do we provide more uh, employment opportunities or uh, livelihood opportunities to creators so yes, yes uh, definitely you know working on some initiatives where we can just you know 
make sure that the person who want to enter in this field of uh, you know creative doing something of his own in the terms of create especially in the terms of uh, creation how do we provide uh, that kind of support in the terms of you know maybe whatever they are looking for so, yes thank you for that thank you uh, i i totally resonate with you on that point uh, giving livelihood to the creators and you know actually uh, allowing them to display their talent to uh, any platform i would say not only social gram or uh, jaipur creative commune i think we we are just their amplifiers and you know uh, trying to uh, spread their word through us so yeah thank you thank you so much uh, rachna and uh, would like to connect with you once this pandemic and uh, everything the situation is a little normal and uh, i'll catch up with you thank you so much